Hi, Genevieve Jacobs from Region Media. I am at the Tradies Canberra and Region Wine Show and the news update this week is a genuine piece of news because keep listening, we are about to announce the winners at this year's Canberra and Region Wine Show. I've got Adam and Ben with me who are both on the judging panel. Adam chairs the judging panel for the show. Adam, there are thousands and thousands of bottles of wine here. It's been a really complex and interesting time for the Canberra region though. We've had the bushfires, which wiped out most of the production. We've had two extraordinarily cool, wet years. What are you noticing about the wines that have been presented to you? Well, I guess really luckily as well, um, you know, it has been a a challenging time for the region, but we we have that cool recent 21 vintage, which is, you know, a lovely a lovely season for the more aromatic varieties uh, that the region does so well. And then we've also got that contrasted to the 29 warmer year uh, that precedes the bushfires. And, you know, that that vintage really lines up and works so well with the the Shiraz and the Shiraz blends that the region does so well. Yeah. So we've got probably, we've got Riesling and Shiraz are the two outstanding varieties that we're familiar with as Canberra wine lovers. Ben, talk to me about the characteristics that you're seeing in the wines that you judged um, at this show. Yeah, it's... um they are, they're really interesting in the way that they're showing definitely from their vintage and style. So lots of aromatics, especially with Shiraz, they're nice and bright and floral and quite structural wines. Um, and the, some of the wines that have come up are really beautiful, delicious wines. Um, Riesling, there is, there's just so much of those white flowers, jasmine, florals, um, beautiful acidity. And there's a lot of drive and power with those wines. Um, and they're, yeah, the, the Riesling that is up there is amazing. Yeah. Adam, we were talking about the origins and the character of the Canberra Wine District. And this is not a place for wealthy people to have playthings. This is scientists, wine nerds, people who are really into understanding how wine behaves, quite willing to experiment. Yep. But is there also a maturity that's emerging? Yeah, I think so. And that's probably a real factor of what, what we've seen is, uh, you know, I've been involved in this show for the last three shows now, the last two as, as chairman as well. And it, to track that evolution and maturity of style and quality qualitative sort of imprint on the wines has just been, well, it's engaging to to be a part of, to be honest, and to tease those wines out of all of these wines and to ultimately reward them as well. You know, there's some very thoughtful and considered winemaking and viticulture going on in this region, and it's lovely to see that end up in bottle where we can all celebrate it um, through through the show. Yeah, look, we go back to the likes of Edgar Reek and of John Kirk, who were very much among the founding fathers of the Canberra Wine District, people who like to experiment, who push some boundaries. Um, Ben, I I guess we're developing an increasing reputation in the Canberra district for the quality and the identity that's matched by a lot of experimentation with food too. Um, This is an interesting observation for judges who see a lot of regions developing. That identity really seems to be coming through. Yeah, it's it's a great one. These alternate red and white classes that we've seen um, the last few days, there is a lot of entries, which is really exciting to see. A lot of... um, interesting varieties that you don't see a lot around Australia, but quality is um, growing and it's really cool to um, kind of see these wines stand up against some of the more traditional varieties that have been planted here um, previously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's do a drum roll. Okay, we're going to get to the big announcement. Adam, we're just going to announce three of these, and that is the best in show, the best red, and the best white. What is the best wine in show for the Canberra district? Yeah, look, the best the best white wine in show, uh, and is also the best wine of show this year, we're very happy to announce, um, is the 2021 Nico Leary Riesling as Hooray! well. Yeah, fantastic <laughs> results. And like I said before, that lovely confluence of, of vintage, cool, restrained, long, bright acid lines, and also those lovely florals that the Riesling variety brings in some very assured winemaking hands of, of the O'Leary family and Nick O'Leary. Is, um, it, it was a beauty. It was stunning and it stood up all the way through as yeah. well. So lovely to see that be rewarded with those two big sort of prestigious uh, awards, I okay. guess, as well. And Adam, the, the red of the year. This year, uh, the best red wine in show uh, went to the 2021 Ballonclash Hilltops Shiraz. That is really exciting. They're personal friends of mine. Lovely, lovely people. And that's very much the nature of the Canberra wine community. Absolutely. I think also worth celebrating as well, the, the another really important award at this show is the, the local Canberra district, the best red wine of show there. And the Larida Estate 2019 won that Shiraz this year as well. And that is a fantastic wine that's had a lot of great success at other capital city shows as well. So 
lovely to see us find that wine here as well and it to stand up on the tasting bench this week. Oh, fantastic. So congratulations to, to Lerida, to Ballina Clash and to Nick O'Leary. That is a wonderful result. I think it's a huge result. Yeah, it's a huge result. We are so excited to be able to announce that here on Region Media. Also making news on the site this week, we've been talking about working from home, the latest advice from the public service to each department as to how you can achieve that with maximum efficiency and, uh, and safety for workers. We're looking also at eucalypts. That huge storm that we had come ripping through has made many people question, and not for the first time, whether eucalypts are suitable trees for planting in our suburbs with the huge amount of damage that was done. Ian Bushnell's written about an inquiry with the ACT Ombudsman that's revealed some really interesting information on freedom of information basis about the Department of Education and some very serious allegations about events involving teachers and students. And so you've got COVID. Well, I haven't, fortunately, <laughs> touch wood. But if you've had COVID and you're getting over it, what then? What about your immunity? What about your medical circumstances? What about the time that you can come out of quarantine? We've got all those details and more. Um, we've got a huge Canberra conversation going on at all times on the Right Act. There's an email newsletter that drops into your inbox every Thursday afternoon. Sign up for that and you can be part of that huge big Canberra conversation or our daily digest, which happens every day. We're going to be doing some wine sampling now. This is been a particularly exciting news update. I'm Genevieve Jacobs and this is Region Media.